Hi everybody, it's me Brandy with Be Vintage Design and Decor and I am so frustrated right now. I am hoping you're actually getting to watch this video because I have made this video multiple times and I'm having difficulty uploading. So obviously if you're seeing it, I finally got it to upload. However, um, I'm trying to cut it shorter than um, originally filmed. So I chose some stuff through the original formatted bag and then um, set it, I don't know why I said formatted, the original bag, and I set the rest aside for another video. Um, this is part of a 40 pound tote that I got from Salvation Army. So we're gonna talk as we get started um, so that I can keep the video moving and keep the video um, short, hopefully. So I'm gonna try and keep it at a half an hour. I'll keep an eye on the time. And um, yeah, let's just get started. I um, purchased this 40 pound tote and um, I did go through it. I got rid of um, all the like Mardi Gras beads and rubber band bracelets and things like that. Set them all into craft. Um, the first time I filmed the video, I put the other stuff into craft. So this should be down to kind of the desirable stuff that people would probably want um the craft stuff not that people don't want the craft stuff but um it, it's just gonna have to end up i guess in a big craft bag so anyhow i do accept paypal and venmo this is my um this is what i do i resell um so welcome if you're new uh if you are not new welcome again i'm so glad you guys are back with me um a couple things i do do uh, both PayPal and Venmo, like I said, but expect payment within 24 hours unless other arrangements are made with me. And um, if you see anything you like, just email me at um, my email address that's up above. It'll be up there the whole video. It helps if you give me the timestamp as well or as well as um, a uh, screenshot. So I apologize. I'm trying to make sure I get it all in quickly and it's making me flustered. <laughs> okay, so this is an absolutely, absolutely gorgeous vintage bracelet. Um, it was in a baggie when I found it, so somebody who donated it obviously cared um, enough to do that. It is missing one stone right here um, on the back side of it. It has the safety chain. It is not marked and um, other than that, it, I mean, it's in stunning condition. So I apologize that you're not going to get my initial reactions that I usually have when I go through a bag because I have already seen all of this. Um, but the good thing is hopefully that will help me go through it quicker. But this is an absolutely stunning bracelet. And honestly, if nobody takes this bracelet, it's going to end up in my collection because I'm, I'm in love with it. It just, it's, it's just beautiful. There's the back. The back is kind of um, more solid than it is, um, you know, open or separated, but it's just absolutely stunning. And other than that one stone, it's in mint condition. Okay, the good thing is there's not any tangles, hopefully, because everything I just shoved right back in the bag when I realized I had to refilm. So this is a nice pair of costume maroon colored pearls with these gunmetal and like marcasite looking stones. Double strand, very, very pretty. They hang beautifully. Here we have a leather, um, it's leather over like metal and um, it's got this bronze tone as well as this silver tone and it is a cuff and it is adjustable and I would say it, it works. I mean, obviously you can adjust it down to a smaller size, but it works well for a medium to larger wrist too because um, it seems to already kind of be set at that and um, not over, you know, overworked at all. So um, very nice piece. You know, sometimes you get those and 
they're clearly way misshapen. That one is not. Um, this is a nice uh, multi-strand stretch bracelet. There are um, a few of them that have a little bit more stretch taken out of them. You can kind of see. However, like there's one that's dangling in particular. Um, but it's not, when you put it on, it's not over stretched looking. So um, I think it still has some good wear in them or um, somebody could definitely restring it if they wanted to. This is a sterling silver bracelet. It, it probably needs to be cleaned a little bit because it's got a little tarnish in some areas on the insides. Um, but a little dip in some cleaner will take care of that. It is marked 925 Italy. Here's where it says Italy. And then the 925 is on this side. And it's just this nice chain. And I believe, I believe this is a seven inch. I know in my last video, I did measure it, but let's measure it again just to make sure because it's been a few, there we go. It's been a few days since I filmed that one. I'm not joking. It took me, I, I tried to upload this video for 48 hours. I don't know what's going on with my YouTube, but hopefully this version works. We shall see. If not, I give up. So this is a really pretty, it's got tiger's eye. It's got some really pretty amber colored beads. It has a tag that says made with love. I, although I don't believe that's a brand. I think this is an artisan made piece. It's got a nice metal tassel and a really pretty stone here. Actually, that's more like a plastic, not a stone, but the other ones are glass and stone. Very pretty. pair of gunmetal hoops, just standard hoops. This is a nice dainty little double-stranded necklace, and it's very delicate feeling. Um, however, I think it's a pretty sturdy piece because it was not in a baggie. I put it in a baggie so it wouldn't get tangled but very pretty. It is not sterling or anything. It's got these nice little red beads on them. Very nice. This earring, it's, this is a gorgeous pair of earrings. The other one is somewhere in the bag, but I'll show you this one. Um, they are, they're stamped inside that they are 100% um, copper, I believe is what it's stamped, or it just says solid copper that's what it says solid copper and then on the outside it's got this like brass um that is actually like inlaid with a um really pretty floral design very nice very very sturdy very beautiful earrings nice quality earrings and they're like riveted here um and very solid post. Love these. This particular necklace, I actually own this particular necklace myself from Premier Design. I love it. Um, this is new in bag. It's got the Premier hang tag and it's got Proverbs 3110 and then a, a rhinestone on this side. This is almost like a magnified um, stone because when you wear it, it magnifies the proverb saying, and the saying is a woman of excellence who will find for her worth is far more than precious, is far more than a precious jewels, jewels, yes. So it's just, I'm sorry, I have to read it like kind of going in a circle, but it's, um, it's just a really, I love wearing this necklace. Um, I've had it for a few years now and I believe I actually thrifted the necklace and I, I it just goes with so many things and it just has such a nice saying. And like I said, that's new in bag. There were quite a few new Premier jewelry pieces um, in this bag. Now this, I actually shined up. Um, when I first did the first video, it was completely tarnished black. Um, I since then have shined it. It is sterling silver. It's a gorgeous brooch. And it is marked on the back right there. 
It's marked 925, and I believe it's it's a Thai SU is what else it's marked. Yes, this is the Thai SU. So it's from Thailand SU, sterling, 925 sterling silver. I did test it. It tests as sterling, and I like I said, I shined it up completely, and it's beautiful. So sorry that you didn't get to see it in its natural state. Um, this is new with tags from Lane Bryant, and it's just a beautiful seed bead coral colored necklace, and it's in excellent condition. I mean, brand new from a store condition. Very pretty. And it's a collar style. Very nice for summer. And along the lines of seed bead, there's this really pretty one. This is very long, multicolored in blues and so, uh, like a silvery gray tone, and it's knotted. And it probably hangs, um, probably hangs like maybe just below the bust line. It depends how busty you are. So on me, just below the bust line, on somebody who's <laughs> better off than me um it would hang it probably at your bust line very pretty i love this little guy he is a little jack-o-lantern brooch handmade he's like a almost like a tin just a crafter's piece but he's really cute and like i said this was all from a 40 pound Tub. So I still have bags and bags. All I did was go through the tub and put everything that didn't look like it was craft um, into like 10 pound bags. So this has been a little bit narrowed down just for the video. Um, these are just plastic stones, but they're almost like a confetti stone or they are a confetti looking stone. And then um, it's got like a paisley here and just this gunmetal color, just a fashion necklace long fashion necklace. Very pretty. And here we have, I believe this is just marked, yes, it's just marked Korea. It's just a nice pretty gold tone chain. Kind of goes with everything. And I believe, oh, I, did, I measured this last time too. remembering my tape and then I keep forgetting that I have my tape out. Here we go. So this one, this one is about a 20 inch. I would, I would say it's probably 18. It's like right at, right a little above nine, like eight. Yeah. Like 19, 18 probably. Cause it to me it doesn't it's not quite at the 10 inch mark when i hold it that way so um i would go on with error on the 18 inch this is just a little um pineapple it's probably a bracelet but I, it's got a long extender so i'm thinking it's an anklet plus it would make more sense as an anklet just a little fashion piece Love this clamper, love the color. It's so pretty for spring and summer. And it's got these little rhinestones scattered and it has all of its stones, very pretty enameling, in excellent condition, not marked though. No maker's mark, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is so cute. It's a little um, Pandora style bracelet and it's got these little emoji guys. Now they're not marked, but they're very nice quality. They're not they're not plastic. They're metal. They're metal beads. Um, I don't like I said. I don't believe they're Pandora because I would imagine they would be marked. But they're good quality beads. Um, so there's a winking guy, a little poo emoji guy, um, a laughing emoji, all sorts of emojis, a heart. Just really cute. And they're all gold toned on a silver toned bracelet. Now this, this I absolutely love. 
I did test it to see if these beads were sterling and they are not sterling. Um, however, this appears to be bone right here. Um, I did look at it under the um, magnification and then it's got this nice shepherd's hook clasp and then these beautiful colored beads perfect for spring and summer and then these beautiful silver beads very um very summery or ethnic um even coastal i mean you can get so many different kind of oops it's all twisted up but you get the idea but i get very coastal vibes from it too not just kind of that ethnic vibe because of the colors in it so it'd be really nice with a sundress very very pretty okay how are we doing on time oh 15 minutes in already so here is a beautiful brighton bracelet it's got the little brighton hang tag right there two-toned gold silver super cute great condition very nice sorry if i'm not overly descriptive I'm just trying to keep it where I can get to show you all the wonderful pieces that are in here. So this, I love, love, love. It's just beautiful, beautiful multi-strand pearls. Lobster clasp, but really nicely, I mean, really nicely strung. Very beautiful piece. It was probably definitely a designer piece because of the quality of these faux pearls. And there are these beautiful champagne colors very very pretty i love this I, at first i was going to stick it in a craft and i thought no you know what first off you could take this this bow off if you don't if you're that's not your jam but it's a great like summer looking bracelet i think um so it was really pretty and very fun and festive so i thought somebody would definitely enjoy that here i have a it's not marked but a very nice quality necklace with this red you can kind of see it in the light this really almost like a translucent red stone on this gold chain very good condition chains in great condition pendants in beautiful condition there's like a black enameling around there very pretty okay this necklace and the next black necklace I'm in love with. I think they're absolutely stunning. Um, I mean, really, the clasp on this one, the back of the clasp has a little wear, but not really. I mean, it's just a little darkening of it. But look at this clasp. And I'm sure that this clasp is some designer's patented clasp. I just don't know who offhand. Maybe one of you guys do and you can share it in the comments. There's no mark on it that I can see, um, but it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's got these rondelles up here, and then down here, look at the detail. There's these circular um, faceted beads, the rhinestone in, in the gold, give it that two-tone effect, and then these beautiful multi-strand faceted beads. Just a stunning, stunning necklace. Definitely a vintage necklace very nice quality and speaking of black beads and vintage oops i got a couple strands here and i, I and all of them are just gorgeous ah, how did you get how did you get tangled up in this one second i don't know how that happened it didn't have any tangles there we go Okay, this is probably one of my favorite things. Ignore this, this is just a price price tag that needs to be cut off. But I don't know if you can see it, but do you see how it's a matte bead, a shiny bead, a matte bead, a shiny bead, a matte bead, and so on. Um, the, the weight on this, it's just, I mean, you can tell the quality because of the weight of this beautiful necklace. The clasp on this I mean it's just stunning 
Where's the opening? Do -do -do, where's the opening? I forget how I opened it before. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, it opens. And that actually was twisted, but I think it looks really pretty twisted. There we go. But yeah, there's the clasp. And it goes in on the side versus, um, I don't know where you think it would, I guess, go, which would be at the top there. If I can get it back in. Maybe it is supposed to be twisted. Oh, maybe it is. Because I think it goes this way. Why are my fingers not cooperating? Why? Because I'm trying to be quick about everything. There we go. No? Okay, so it's not twisted. I think it looks pretty twisted, though. But that's just a gorgeous, excellent quality, beautiful, beautiful necklace. Very pretty. And, I mean, the weight on that is just phenomenal. This is obviously, well, not obviously, but it, it, I think these these round ones are onyx and these are just some really pretty like um, faceted beads but you can hear that those are not plastic and then it's got this really pretty vintage hook clasp it's not marked um i will tell you right just a little tiny bit on the clasp here. There's like a little bit of verdigris that just needs to be kind of wiped down, but it's not anything major, but I know sometimes people want to know if it had something like that on it. Um, but other than that, I mean like nothing else does, just on that one part on the hook. And you can definitely double, maybe even triple the this because of the length of it. But it's just, it's beautiful. And it's like, once again, Great weight, very nice quality. Ah, look what time it is. Couple more beautiful vintage necklaces. Look at this one with the freshwater pearls and the cloisonne beads. I mean, gorgeous beads, absolutely gorgeous beads. There's a gold background to these beads. And then this peachy tone to the pearls. And then this ivory color mixed in. I mean, it's just, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. And it's not, it's, I guess you could say it's grandma chic, but I don't think so. I think it's very on trend and very, um, just timeless, really. Very, very pretty. We'll just keep it the pearls. I'll grab this other pearl. This is um, some Baroque pearls which means that they are uneven in their quality. And um, you can see the, the lines in these to know that, I mean, these are real pearls. They're double knotted in between. Um, when you rub them together, they have that sandy quality to them, the grittiness, very pretty. These are not really long though. I know I have some people looking for longer sets of pearls. And um, they are 12 inches in length, so 24 total, but 20, they, they don't have a, they don't have a clasp, so they just go right over your head, obviously, without the clasp. Um, Premier Design, new in box. This piece is absolutely beautiful. It is a 10th anniversary piece, which their 10th anniversary was in 1995. So this is definitely a vintage piece. And like I said, new in box, beautiful hang tag. You can tell nobody wore this necklace. It is in stunning condition, absolutely beautiful. When I did comps on this necklace, the other necklaces um, you could tell had been worn that I saw, and this one is just stunning the way that it has all of its original coloration to it. And it is a multicolored chain. It's a braided chain with silver and gold. 
And like I said, still new in box. This is just a nice stretch in this kind of this uh, toppered patina look. It's got a good stretch to it still. And I think we're down to all the littles in this bag. So let me just dump them out. These are some of my favorite because I absolutely am stumped by this bracelet and I absolutely love this bracelet. Um, this is, I tested it. It is a sterling silver bracelet. It has all of these like, um, glass, um, beads in it. I don't even know if they're glass or if they're, I mean, they tested as glass. I don't know technically what the material is in there. They're red and white. And then it has this hook closure, which is very Native American inspired. And then it is marked 80 on the back right here, which I know when I was going through the bags of the bin of stuff, I saw a pair of earrings marked that same way. Um, and I tested it, like I said, it tests as sterling. So I'm not sure why it has that 80 mark. I looked it up, I looked up 08, I looked up maybe OB or BO. If any of you know any more about that 80 mark, let me know. But this is a beautiful bracelet and it measures um, eight inches to the hook from the closure to the hook. Oops, and it's a gorgeous bracelet. All right, so here we have the red rose brooch, not marked, gold tone, very pretty. A couple more brooches too. Here is a JJ1988. How did you get hooked up? How did you get hooked on there? Oh, I see it. Hold on, there we go. 1988 Pewter Cat. And there's the back. Oh, I don't know if I showed the back of the rose. There's the back of the rose. I know somebody, somebody likes out there likes to see the back. This is just gonna go into craft. It's plastic, but I thought maybe somebody might wanna see it um, to see if they were interested in it to do something else with. So I just wanted to show it to you because I thought it was a nice piece to go into craft. This piece is marked um, Michelle McCola, 1996. And that is the designer of this piece. It is sterling silver and it is marked on the back sterling. Marked down there. The Michelle McCola is marked up here engraved into it and it's just this nice sterling angel pin we're doing good we're getting there this is also sterling silver I tested it it is not marked sterling that I can see it has a star mark on the inside um, and it's got these beautiful blue AB crystals that pick up that purple tone too so pretty that's how big it is very nice. I was painting today. I don't think I, I think I got all the paint off of there. I'm almost done with my bathroom cabinets. I'll have to show you guys a picture when I'm done. Um, this is marked on the back, but I can't tell what it says. It looks like a, 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 I maybe, I don't know. It's just a little Christmas tree brooch. And there's the back. Um, it's just enameled. No, oh, there's one rhinestone at the star. Very pretty. Uh, I'll just do all the brooches. This is a nice Santa brooch. However, he is missing a stone there and two right here. Um, but you really can't tell because the gold, um, it, it's the gold of the sleigh underneath, not like a missing stone part. Um, so you really can't tell at all that there's stone missing unless you are looking under the microscope um, or the ma magnification. And he's not marked. Let me show you the back. Sorry. He is not marked. Here we have a toy soldier and he is also enameled. He is also not marked. He's super cute though super cute. This is marked right here. 
12 karat. I can't tell what else it says. It does say something else on there. And it is this beautiful vintage cameo brooch. And like I said, it's 12 karat gold. And um, I don't, it's, it's just, it's, it's really pretty. It really is. And I, I didn't want to scrap it because it's a gorgeous little cameo. So somebody who will appreciate the cameo and want the 12 karat gold in it, I hope that they want it for the reason of keeping it and preserving it, not, not scrapping it. Here we have a super cute little snowman. He is like a stained glass look to him. And there's the back of him. He's a pendant as well. So however you want to wear the snowman with his little earmuffs. All right, we're at the 30 minute mark, so I'm gonna go a little quicker. This is just, um, it's not a stretch bracelet. It's just an unscrew. I don't know why, why, why I grabbed this one and stuck it in there, but it's got some nice beads on it. This one is marked with a P and an L. P and an L on the hang tag. And it's just this really pretty stretch bracelet with these rhinestones right here. And it's got it's got good stretch to it still. It's um, probably made for a little bit of a larger wrist. I don't prefer them to be this, this loose, but um, so if you have a tiny wrist, you probably wouldn't like this or a smaller size wrist. Um, I would save that for somebody with a medium to larger wrist, unless you like it to dangle down. Oh, I missed a brooch. I missed two brooches, three brooches. There were a lot of brooches in this, in this thing. So this girl, she's so cute. She's, she reminds me of Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. She's got a little pup down here and then all her packages up here and you can't see her face because her hat box is covering her face. And she is marked, but I don't think I could see what it said on the back. Let me look and see. I think I looked it up though. Oh, I think it says AJC. That's what it is, AJC. And she goes for a pretty good amount online. This is just actually a pin. I believe it's a 1928 um, brand pin with the little ceramic har uh, flower and a dangling heart. But it has that signature 1928 swirling on the back. I love, love, love this dragonfly. He sparkles so beautifully. Let me close his pin so I don't stab myself. Look at the AB crystals on him and his beautiful green eyes. Oh my gosh, he's just adorable. And then he's got open spots in the back, but just stunning. A lot of nice brooches. Here's a really pretty Damascene um, bracelet with the safety chain. And here's how it clasps. And then I'll show you it on. Really pretty, great condition on this. Really great condition. Okay, I did test this. It is not sterling. Um, it's just this really nice kind of textured silver bracelet. And it's got this hook closure to it. Shepherd's hook closure. Very nice. Um, this I did test. It is, well, it's marked. It is actually marked, but it is sterling. And it is marked Fado 925, so on the back, which is an Irish brand. It is a Colada um, pendant holding a Peridot, which I did um, test the stone. It's, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And I, I actually debated about keeping this because my daughter's birthstone is that. Um, however, I figured I would ask, see if anybody was interested in it. Um, she's still at that age where she loses everything. <laughs> so I would probably put it away for her if um, until she gets old enough to stop losing jewelry. This I did test. It is sterling. 
Um, the chain is marked, um, I believe on there. Yes, the chain is marked 925. I did not see where the pendant was marked. It probably is somewhere in there, um, but I did test it and this is sterling. The stones though are just rhinestones. So, and there is a snoring dog in the background. And this one they also had in a little baggie, which was nice. Um, two, three other things. Little sterling toe ring. It is marked 925 sterling. It's it's just a plain band. And I believe it's it's adjustable, but I believe right now it's like at a two and a half. So it is on the smaller side. And then these I did test. They are not sterling, but there are these really cute little silver, almost like door knocker looking. They do move earrings and they are post earrings and then last I wish I could say I saved the best for last but I guess I didn't but this is still really pretty it just needs somebody with patience that I don't have right now to straighten it out this is not um this is actually like woven woven type of thread it's not um it's not wire um and oh this is marked right here so these are sterling it's marked 925 the findings are sterling um i don't know maybe this is like a sterling type of wire that's really thin and then these are glass and and stone beads there is freshwater pearls um and i don't know like quartz looks like maybe even some um pink quartz. I'm not sure what all these stones are, but they're really pretty, really pretty colors. So very nice necklace. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh. I only went seven minutes over. Not bad for somebody who never stops talking. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I will continue my 40 pound haul in another video. Um, please make sure you like and subscribe. Any little likes help out my, um, algorithm in YouTube and helps my channel to grow. And um, I really appreciate you watching. And I'm so sorry that I didn't get this uploaded over the weekend like I wanted to. I have so much stuff out of that 40 pounds to show you. Um, I was just so excited to get it to you and um, it just wasn't working for me. So hopefully this one does. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite piece was out of here. And also, um, whether or not you like it when I shine up the silver like this and show it to you or whether you like to see it in its, I mean, obviously, normally it comes out in its tarnished state, but it sure looks really pretty when it's all shined up, doesn't it? Anyhow, um, so yeah, just make sure you email me if you are interested in any of the products. Make sure you give me a timestamp or a picture of the product and um I accept PayPal, Venmo, $5 flat rate shipping anywhere in the contiguous United States. And I do ship internationally. Just let me know where you're from and I can price out shipping for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in the next one.